Is n equal to zero? I don't know, there's no free info here, so I guess we'll just dive into the statements. Now statement one tells us that the product of n and some non-zero number is zero. And I'm thinking, well, the only way that a product of two numbers is zero is if at least one of them is zero. So you've got n and you've got some non-zero number, well then n must be zero because one of them at least one of them has to be zero in order for their product to be zero. So statement one is sufficient. It gave us a definitive yes. Let's go ahead and eliminate the answer choices that claim that statement one is not sufficient on its own. So B, C, E, all gone. We're down to A and D. Now statement two tells us that the sum of N and zero is zero. Well, what kind of number would you add zero to and still just get zero? I think that the only number that works for is zero, right? Zero plus zero is zero, but any other number plus zero would not be zero. So statement two is also sufficient on its own. It also gives us a definitive yes, n is zero, and therefore the correct answer is d. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.